2021 calendar from Appointed and it's a little bit slanted, too lazy to fix it. So this will just have to do. I hopped on Instagram this afternoon to just share more about like how I think I got exposed to COVID. It's like the 16th day since I first had symptoms and I feel much better. I mean, overall, just very lucky and fortunate to not have any like serious symptoms. And yeah, guys, just, just be safe, please. Um, it's easy to like forget that we're in the pandemic when you are experiencing quarantine fatigue and things seem safe. Um, it's kind of cold, but I like it. So many! Oh my goodness! They're just, they're just chilling. Me and all the geese. Recently, I rearranged like my whole setup and I finally set up this like huge monitor that I've had for a really long time. Um, it's an HP monitor. I don't know which model it is, but it's so widescreen that like when I go back and like look at just my laptop, I'm like, this, this is so small. My massive spreadsheet of, you know, all the different things for the podcast. But I wanted to show you guys some editing stuff I use. Essentially, I just use GarageBand. In terms of graphics, I use Canva. This is also what I use to create all my YouTube thumbnails. Here is the logo. Wow, it looks so nice on the screen. And all of the episode art that I have. Don't want to spoil too much. If you guys have any, like, good topics that you want me to cover in the podcast comment down below or you can visit the instagram page all humans just like have a basic need for a connection with the world being in lockdown it was just so difficult for people to get that so i wanted to make a podcast with just really candid casual conversations and at the same time provide a platform for so many of my friends or people that i knew to share their thoughts and experiences. And the podcast is just a tool to help uplift ordinary people's voices. You know, we're not like celebrities, we're not like high profile people, but we all still have a lot to share. If you're looking for something new to listen to, or if any of that sounds remotely interesting, go and check it out. Um, I upload weekly on Fridays. Yeah, and it's available on all your streaming platforms, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, like literally everything. Got a package today and I am so excited to open this. I purchased a camera back in October of 2020 and it came all the way from Russia and it was like stuck in St. Petersburg for like weeks and I was just like when is this coming like is this a scam but I had bought it off of eBay and you know thankfully the seller was so helpful and he was like oh like let me just contact Russian Post and like speed this up for you and I was like you can do that so I don't know if that actually worked but either way, it is almost the end of January and it finally came. Oh my gosh, every little thing is like wrapped in bubble wrap. Some kind of cord adapter thingy. I think this is like the power cord, power box. What do you call this? Charger? Alright, guys, just bear with my extraness right now, but you just have to... Oh... This is the Canon Legrium Mini X. For those of you who don't know what this camera is, it... Oh my gosh, I'm just excited that I'm holding it. There's a screen right here that you can put up like that for, you know, taking selfies and vlogging. The reason why I had to buy it from Russia is because Canon discontinued this line. I mentioned that this is the Canon Legria Mini X 
And the one that is more common is actually the Vixia X. They are the same camera. So Vixia is what the US and I believe Korea um, carry and that's like the line that you know those two countries call it but Legria is the European and Chinese version of the Vixia line. I think it'll just make all future vlogs just more interesting and easier. This is so like compared to my DS DSLR and I love my DSLR. I use the Canon um, M6. What makes this really cool and really great for vlogging is that there are two mics here. I don't know if it's gonna focus, there you go. Two microphones here, which means your audio when you're vlogging is gonna be so crisp. This is what the audio sounds like. This is the first time I'm using it, so I can't for sure say if it's like amazing or what, but yeah, this is what it is. And hopefully this will be a great addition to future vlogs. I got so many packages in the last like two days. I think I got like five boxes. So I'm gonna do a very quick unboxing right now. I ordered a new webcam and I was looking all over for this one because it's like sold out in most places. I got the Logitech C920S Pro HD webcam and it's supposed to be pretty good quality. So I'm going to install this later and my Zoom meetings are about to be lit. This next envelope is from Minted. They are Valentine's Day cards. Um, I bought like 35 or something like that. They're so cute, I can't wait. Unboxing videos always feel like Christmas. Um, this next box I believe is from Byredo. Um, I didn't realize it was going to be in such a huge box because all I ordered was like a discovery set of perfumes. So those are like samples. On the website it said that each purchase would come with two free samples. And then this is the box that I got. This is their like sample set. Oh, it already smells so good. So this sample set costs like $45 and so after you buy this you can get a $45 voucher to spend on something else on Byredo. So I'm hoping that once I try all of these then um, I will know which one that I want and I can use that $45 voucher towards like a bigger bottle. Maybe I'll smell them on camera. I don't know yet. I'm going to open this box from Yes Style next. Oh my gosh, it's so packed. So freaking heavy. So many samples. Oh, this is not a sample. It's a glass nail filer. I don't know why I got this. This is the Day Mellow Sweet Oceanic Lotion. Focus. 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 And this item was gifted, actually, from Yes Style. First of all, it smells really good. It smells like some kind of fruit. I'm really bad with scents. Let's try this lotion out. I still can't figure out what it is. It smells like candy. Like Smarties. This is great. I actually really like it. I've been running out of so many hand lotions. If you go on Yes Style right now, you can get it for 20% off. The deal ends on February 15th, so be sure to get some if you want new hand lotion. I got this like hoodie thing. I actually don't own any like zip up hoodies and now that I'm home all the time sometimes I'm like oh, I just want a zip up hoodie. It's like easy to put on and like you're instantly warm. I got an oven mitt but it's like one of those like small oven mitts and there's little fishies inside. Maybe I should have gotten two but I thought maybe one is enough for now. A shirt that has a milk carton on it. I like this one a lot. Um, it's so simple. I love this green. I got this big crew neck. It says Los Angeles. <laughs> I bought these long chopsticks. Why did I buy these? It's so funny. They're so long. <laughs> and the last item are some cups. There's a lot of Chinese on it and I don't know what it says. <laughs> Oh, and they come with spoons, too. Like these cute little flower spoon thingies. It's just like a big mug. And here's two. I don't know why I need two mugs. So many boxes, but here is the last box I have, and it is 
so big. This box is from Wayfair. I bought a new bar cart. Fully intending on using it not as a bar cart. I wanted to display some of like my perfumes and some other things in my room. Maybe when I move it will become a bar cart, but I just like the aesthetic of it. But it's just so heavy and I have a feeling I have to assemble it. I have to assemble it. Well, here's the tray. This is huge. This is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. I don't know if I already said this, but I'm like the least adept, adept, is that the word? Or like able to, like I'm terrible at building things. When I started this unboxing, I did not expect to be building a whole cart. Huh? Oh, oh, oh. T Duh. Oh my gosh. Now that the bar cart and perfume stand is up and finally assembled, I'm going to try to smell some of these Byredo perfume samples. First one I'm going to smell is Mojave Ghost. Mmm. The next one is Rose Noir. Ooh. It's a little spicy. Next we have Bal d'Afrique. Interesting. Oh, I just sprayed it in my face. Okay, well now it's all over my hand. It smells kind of woody, a little bit musty. I'm gonna wash my hands. Next we have Blanc. This is a very clean scent. Oh, describing scents is so hard. This like really reminds me of something from my childhood. It's cool how scents can do that, like bring you back to a time and place, but not when you can't remember what it is. Next we have Gypsy Water. I've seen a lot of people wear this scent. Hmm, okay. It's a little musty, and then I can't pick up anything else. It reminds me a lot of Dior perfumes. Next we have Bibliotheque, if it will focus for you all. Ooh, it smells like candy. This is so hard. I actually like all of these scents a lot. Maybe a little more than I like the Lulava ones. I never thought I would say that. This is the last one. It is Rose of No Man's Land. This also smells like candy. What am I supposed to do? I like them all, but I cannot buy eight bottles of perfume. They all smell so good, but for now, we will put these on the shelf. All these different perfumes and hopefully more to come and just a little map that I got from Rifle Paper Co. I usually get one of their desk calendars for my work desk and I completely forgot about it because I'm not, you know, going into work. Mm -hmm.